Taiwan's Tsai Ing-wen is expected to continue her pro-growth policies after a decisive victory in the self-ruled island's presidential election on Saturday, an entrepreneur said on Monday. Incumbent Tsai of the Independence-leaning Democratic Progressive Party DPP secured a second term with 8.2 million votes, the most any leader has secured since Taiwan held its first direct presidential elections in 1996. Her 57.1% share of votes compared with 38.61% or 5.5 million votes for her closest competitor Han Kuo Yu of the Kuomintang or Nationalist Party, according to Taiwan's Central Election Commission. Tsai's weekend win was aided by concerns over mainland Chinese influence that spilled over from long-drawn anti-establishment protests in Hong Kong and her pro-growth policies are expected to continue, said Stephen Pan, executive chairman of Silk's Hotel Group and Formosa International Hotels. That policy we expect to carry forward with even more force with the return of Taiwanese companies and capital from decoupling due to the trade war, said Hotelier Pan. Tsai's win was a dramatic turnaround from N2018 when the independence-leaning DPP lost several important cities in mayoral elections partly attributed to unpopular reforms in the state pension system. The DPP also retained its majority in the legislature in elections that took place concurrently on Saturday. Since N2018, Tsai has shifted her agenda from one focusing on social reforms to a pro-growth one, which has helped the economy at an opportune time for her administration. That is as global supply chains are shifting due to the U.S.-China trade war, that has benefited democratic Taiwan, said Pan. Taiwan posted 2.91% on year GDP growth in the third quarter of 2019, bucking the sluggish trend displayed by trade-reliant Singapore, South Korea and Hong Kong. The four export-reliant economies known as the Asian Tigers are often compared against one another. Pan expects Taiwan's economy to outperform the Asian Tigers by at least one percentage point a year in the near future due to inbound investments. Trade war is temporary, but the decoupling and the technology consideration is strategic and it's going to be with us for decades, he said. 